Got this fool word. Oh, is that his? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's him. Yeah. That's Quavo. That's yeah, yeah, cop in the plea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I told you, Johnny. Yeah, bro. Is that a phone call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a voicemail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You said yeah. you want no smoke, nothing? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 he yeah. won. It's over. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it get worse. Yeah. Oh, you ain't heard the song. Oh, it get worse. Yeah. Oh, oh. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. You trippy Chris, don't say that, don't lose your head. You just turn a big bad oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, Hold on, hold on. I was shocked by this. I couldn't believe it. Chris Brown released a diss track on Migos rapper Quavo. Yep. Is that right? Yep. yep. Y'all, yeah, shout out to my boy yeah, Chris, bro. Hey, hey. Shout out to, I, I was shocked. Did you? Hey, you this right? shit. No, yes. no, no. You heard that right, Chris. You, you heard bro. that right. But to be fair, Quavo shot at him first. Excuse me, miss. Really? Is that what Quavo happened? shot at him first? Room. So what was the shot? What was what? Was set Quavo up dropped the you know? disc first, talking about um, Chris. Chris Brown. They're fight. If you want to know what they're fighting over, they're fighting over women they don't even mess with anymore. Ex girlfriends. Yep. I knew that that had something to do with it, bro. Like, I knew it had to do with somebody, somebody's ex, and especially knowing what I know about Chris Brown, which is not a lot. He's a very jealous person. Mm. When you mess with On his girlfriends, sides. ex-girlfriends, he's very jealous, very possessive. And uh, he be saying some wild stuff, bro. Like, bro, you're Chris Brown. Move on and get somebody else. The way he was acting with Karakuchi, what's her name? That's, that's the girl. That's the girl Karuchi. in question. It's oh, Karuchi. Oh, yeah. he was crazy over her, bro. Yeah, and Karuchi. do you see what he's eating right now? Look at that picture. That's a glizzy. A what? Uh -huh. You see that glizzy? Yeah. Look, that represents his uh, uh, sweet. Shout out to the donation come by way of Complex Persona. He decided to light up the studio and interrupt the stream, which is something that you guys can do as well when you're live on Jody's Corner. Let's see what he said. He says, uh, what you mean? Let Kendrick cook. Apparently, he had a district. Oh, yeah, I got you. I'll come back to you. Don't worry. I'll come smoke you in a minute. So this Chris Brown situation it's interesting. He goes off on Quavo's throat. Weakest link? That's the name of the song? Yes. Weakest yeah, yeah, link? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I, think about what I that means. I heard this yesterday. Where yeah. is this song available? I think we need to go and look this bad boy up. So what, what's going on with the... So it's Barracucci. Karuchi. Karuchi. She... she hey, he's crazy over her, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had a whole song about crazy? her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the so whole song I understand. So, so, yeah. so Quavo smashed. Oh, is that right? Quavo yeah. smashed. And then in response, what else? And then I'm, it? no, in response, We're just mad because he smashed. No, 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 in response is if you know, you remember Sweetie, so weedy, you remember Sal Weedy? Sal Weedy. Remember her? That was Quavo girl. That was Quavo girl, right? Nah. Chris Brown smashed too. Why they were together? And so they're fighting. At least over that's girls. what he said, right? Yeah. But no, hey, no. we know Sweetie's history. Well, uh, let's go ahead and react to this bad boy. Let's see what time it is, bro. Uh, <laughs> hey, dang, you gonna skip that part? You gotta go smoke. back. All right, bro. Now we can settle this like you got some plans. Some pimp so shit. Some gangster shit. <laughs> from the Mac. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. I'm some pimp shit. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want got nothing, this fool bro. words. Talking over. Oh, is that his? Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 him. that's him. That's Quavo. That's yeah, yeah. Cop and a plea. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I told you, Johnny. Yeah, bro. Is that a phone call? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that a voicemail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You said yeah. you want no smoke, nothing? Yes. Oh, hey, 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 he yeah. won. It's over. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it get worse. Yeah. Oh, you ain't heard the song. Oh, it get worse. Yeah. Oh, oh, it get worse. Oh, I read the lyrics. Hey, bro, I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Who wants Who wants smoke with me? Who wants uh, okay, let's uh, get down to the facts, pussy. I'm dripped in red. Don't let this oh. one be shit, fool. You niggas get ripped to shreds. Oh, Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga. You a bitch with dread. Can't oh. wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. Whoa, all shit you talking, you ain't no hunt, yo, nigga. Do the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. Damn, ex -ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I Whoa. fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. Up. They Ooh. say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about that shit. I got some feelings about that dick, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. Fuck. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put a Migo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating 
girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste that's devastating. You doing bad. Oh, oh. Bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept oh. thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up. Boy, I would have broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough. You ain't like that. Why you keep showing up? Quit talking about drugs. Yeah. You the only pack that I've been smoking on. I just yeah. my plug. Told him come back. I'ma need more than one. Your last oh. album was a weed trade. Just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's oh. gonna put you to bed. Night, night, that's to the fed. Show me that old tender bitch. Trying to prove what you just said. R.I.P. Take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You trippy, Chris. Don't say that. Don't lose your head. Yeah. You just turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas. Never knew revenge. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Oh, big fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wish it. R.I.P. Take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, uh -huh. everybody really wished it was you instead. Uh -huh. The only real one. Uh -huh. <laughs> R.I.P. Takeoff, you only real one that got true respect. Got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You trippy Damn. Chris, don't say that. Don't Dead body. Shit. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas, never knew revenge. This what happens when a fuck nigga oh, push no. a real nigga out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. Oh. This ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table. My mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit gon' sting, nigga. I ran your ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got body by a singing, nigga. Bitch. Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with C? Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? And Quavo responded an hour ago. Yo. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard so that. Before we get to this nigga, I don't really care about his clapback because after after hearing that, it's like it's a rap. Sometimes you only need to hear when I, you got somebody's voice on wax saying, oh, "I don't want no smoke, bro. Please, my nigga, like, please. Like, I'm sorry. Them, please. This is I'm not. Sorry. This is not. Yeah. This is not saying like, hey, bro, what's up? It's Jody Joe, man. Listen, bro, I think this shit went too far. I ain't trying to take it there. Obviously, bro, we got brands. I got my own shit going on. It's we don't need to do that because that's a problem. It's a problem for you and it's a problem for me. So let's be bigger, man, and let's move on. Let's not make this a thing. Versus Chris, man. Hey, man, it's quite. Hey, please. Yeah, bro. yeah, bro. Yeah, go back. Nigga, he, oh, he, he lost the first 15 <laughs> seconds of the song. He yeah, lost I want no problems with you, dog. I want no problems. Bro, he lost the first 15 seconds yeah, of the song. Yeah, bro. First of all, Quavo's like five foot whatever. Chris Brown's like know, six three. You already know you ain't going to win that fight. Yeah, 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 yeah so yes, sir. You know what? And Chris Brown's the type of dude to do that shit in public. Facts. Mm -hmm. To Facts. not you yeah, up in front of everybody. Yeah, he's he's a, yeah, yeah. I don't think Chris is all the way there, bro. Nah, I think he no, he's not. Issue. No, he no, did. He got a lot of issues. He got a lot of issues. Yeah. What you think? I think that that diss track was the best diss track I've heard in a few years. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a singer. He's a singer. What kind yeah, of shit, shit is, that? is that? What does that say about rap? My yeah, man. When an R&B nigga Just makes a better it. diss track it than everybody. Said J. Cole, Drake. And and and, uh, and Chris Brown had the best one. Facts. He said names. There was no sub. What sub did you get here? There was no subs here. He put him with a glizzy. <laughs> and he had that nigga eating a glizzy. Like, come <laughs> on, my nigga. This is bad. Quavo was embarrassed. This is bad. It don't look good. Like he, the bars was fire. I didn't know he could rap like. I didn't either. Weakest link. Didn't we, either. The weakest link makes sense now because the Migos is offset, take off, and him. Yeah. He's the weakest link. Nigga. Is that the one that's with uh Cardi B. Yeah, that's him? Yeah. Oh, he would call it offset. What's the other one? What's the other main one? The, that's the... Takeoff and that's Quake. Takeoff, you know, oh, Takeoff take was the off. one that yeah, died, yeah. that got a... shot. No, what's the main looking one? The little dude that be the That's oh, Quavo. That's oh. what we talking about. Yeah. He's not the one that's with Nicki Minaj. No, 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 that's another nigga. No, 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 no. What's the the other? one that's with Cardi B is Offset. Offset. Yeah, offset. yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Offset yeah. is kind of bigger. Yeah. Quavo's the littler one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but he always comes off as the spokesman of the Migos. As yeah, a he's like he the main guy. He's like the leader of the shit, he's right? Like yeah, that's guy. how he comes across. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he the uncle of the one who died? Yeah. Yeah. Freak. Oh, shit. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Uh, That's a direct diss track. That's what you call a diss track. That is a diss track, and it's coming from a singing nigga named Chris Brown. And this is the kind of stuff I'm trying to, to lose. tell you about, guys. We got like, nothing to lose. So this is nothing they hurt. That's why he can do right, this. Right, right, right. Yeah. He has he's, nothing to lose. He's already canceled. You can't cancel him. What exactly. can you do? He's already canceled as far as they can cancel him. 
It's like, bro, this is exactly what I'm talking about with, with real hip hop. He a, a singing dude is bringing hip hop and real diss tracks back in the culture. Lyrics. Like, like what I've heard, what I've been hearing Lamar. from J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar wasn't, it was it's like, all right, this shit is just jet. Chris came to all right, mother freakers. Bars. Y'all was throwing jabs. He threw, he had shanks, bro. He was shaking motherfuckers, bro. Yeah. So this beef is real, bro. He he has a real problem with him. Yeah, yeah, this Because there's real. nothing worse. I, and I I gotta I understand where he's coming from. The way that he's speaking about this uh, Quavo guy, mm -hmm. yeah, is the same way. When you know somebody is, is is beneath you, when you know somebody is truly a loser, dweeb, Mark. Don't have skill, don't have talent. You only get bitches because of of who you are, and you only you who you are because of what you. When you know somebody is whack, like outside of the facade, like other YouTubers, for example, when you know someone's whack, and then they have the audacity to talk about you and step to you, be like, who? Like Nas said, I know you ain't talking about me. Not you, oh, homie. You. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no doubt. It's just an inner disgust yeah. that comes out. Like, bro, I let you live this whole time, and you talking shit? Oh, now I got to cut Now you. I got to murder you. Yeah. And that's what this was, murder. Yeah. By a singing R&B guy. And that's, and <laughs> I can't even. This Oh, the overall issue for me is this is how far rap has evolved. We got another one in the back of the studio. From Complex Persona, the Canadian is talking. He's talking. If it's about Drake, we're going to get to that in a minute, man. Dre, uh... All right, here we go. He said, what's up with CB? He want to be a thug so bad. Oh, yeah, he hates on Chris Brown. I remember we was talking about Chris Brown a year, two years ago, and he was like, Jody, why are you giving him a pass? He hates Chris Brown. He thinks he's a woman-beating, terrible person. He says, he want to be a thug so bad. What gets me is he could have been the Michael Jackson or dang near close to it of this generation. He is. But instead, he wants to be Mob Pyru and talk like he a certified killer on a track to Quavo. Embarrassment to black people. <laughs> but you want to claim Drake. But you want to talk about your excuse to black Drake's people, antics. Bro. Did he not in his last statement just say, no, it's the right whole there. West Coast is he, getting mopped by Drake that. right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bro, a little, Did little. he not say, wait, that light-skinned Canadian bully in the West Coast right now. And who's, who's playing racial games? Come mm -hmm. on, bro. That's a good question. Like, this... Make it make sense. But we're human beings, though. Yeah. We're human beings. We all make mistakes. I mean, you really got to see the hypocrisy in that statement, right? Like, in one sentence, you're like, oh, yeah, man, Drake body and all of Cali, bro. West Coast taking a hell. Light skin, nigga. Right. He was boosting that shit up. He was boosting that shit up, like, for real. Oh, with his chest. And then in the next sentence, oh, no, nigga, Chris Brown, he embarrassment to black people. So what is Drake, then? What is Drake? <laughs> what, is what is Drake? Drake? What is Drake? <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, embarrassment to black people. You know, we get to we get to talk about that. I I would argue that uh, the way that people act and, and and all of rap is an embarrassment to some degree. But you know, oh, uh, you know where I stand on this. this all of me. it is tomfoolery. I don't give a damn. No, go to church if you want to model role model. Yeah, I don't look to these niggas for help. I'm, they're yeah. not my. Uh -huh. Role you know, models. This right. is entertainment for yeah. me. Sure. So if you can't separate the two, that's not my but issue. It, 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 you gotta it, separate. While the two. it is entertainment, this is also their real lives. Cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Chris really feels a way about the mm -hmm. Car and he's putting girl. it on wax. Yeah. Quavo feels a way. The, he called him. He's mm -hmm. on. He, you got him on the voicemail. That basically. shit is funny, bro. You got that's some Tupac shit right there. Bro. Yeah. You got him yeah. basically saying, no, bro, no, 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 I'm sorry, bro. But the one that she brought players to get on his knees. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that was that shit, bro. Um, how do you feel about the, oh, shit. the diss track from uh, Chris Brown, E Man? First of all, I'm with you, bro. I'm shocked the shit that Chris had bars like this. Um,. I thought this shit was lit. I can't, still can't believe that Chris is Chris Brown. Excuse me, miss. See you going across the room. Chris Brown. Like, I still can't believe this, but I thought this was fantastic. I thought this was dope. I thought this was, this is what we've been looking for. By the way, we have the Quavo disc. We're going we're gonna to react to it live with you guys. Don't worry. This is what we've been looking for hip hop. Chris Brown is, if, if he wanted to stop singing, he could do uh, hip hops all the way through, bro. 
all these new age shit is whack. This dude came with some fire. Um, when you come from a diss or you do some shit like that, you gotta come with it. You can't come with the bullshit. And I'm sorry, dog. I don't. I didn't mean it. You know, it was against my my heart and my. You know, it was too toxic. I, I, all the people wanted to do that. Nah, fuck all that, bro. Come with the real. Come with the real. You feel some type of way about it. Let's come with it. And that's what Chris did. And I like that he stand on business, bro. Yes, Chris, did. Yes, Chris did. stand on business, yes, bro. He handled his shit like a man. He handled his shit. We nobody would ever expect Chris Brown. You would think Chris Brown would come with an R and B song on you, but a rap? He coming in your same shit. He's he he literally stepping in your backyard. Yeah, it said I could kill your shit, and he said your music is trash. He wasn't lying about that. And is that not a testament to exactly how much rap has devolved? Yes, Joe, yes. Joe, 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 I please want you. Because back in the day, you would. I want you to hold that. Back in the day, you would never hold Back in the day, you would never hold that. Because you ain't heard Quavo's response yet, so I need you to hold. I need you to hold on oh, to that. You heard it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 This will be a live reaction for me and E-Man. Yes. You have not heard the response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even you need to hear this shit, Jody. Oh, Back my in... God. This is about to be over for his career. <laughs> Back in the day, you never would have heard an R&B singer coming for a, a, a rapper, especially the rappers that we had. That would be like suicide. Dizzy. But now? That's oh, yeah, crazy. it's a rap. I, I thought this was fantastic. Shout out to Chris for standing on business and handling his shit, bro. I'm... I'm proud of you, you dog. You about to we're stand at the point where you're, we're at a point where we're clapping for this man, bro, because that's how like thirsty we've been for some this, this, this years. Lyrics, where, where, bars, you know, and that's why I said, whatever. that's why I said, hip hop is like like the Roman Colosseum. We want to see these these gladiators fight. We right. that's what it is. Right. And I, I'm acknowledging it. I need the rest of y'all to acknowledge it. That's what I'm and, here and, for. And let's not lose sight of the real weapon here. The real the real villain is the way women have a control on on men, no matter yes. how rich they are. Correct. These are two black millionaires. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are two black tens of millionaires. Yep. They have tens of millions of dollars, and, and they're a, arguing over escorts. a piece of coochie. Escort Karuchi. Named Barracucci. Karuchi. Karuchi. <laughs> Barracucci. Barracucci. <laughs> a piece of coochie yeah. named Karuchi. Y'all arguing over a piece of coochie named That's Karuchi. That's funny. Like, it, it, uh, this is why I say women rule the world. That's a fact. They uh, rule the world. Beyonce came with it uh, perfectly. Beyonce came with it perfectly, bro. Complex probably didn't like what we had to say about him. He got, look, look, look. He put Rihanna and Chris Brown picture here to be funny. He's going to remind us of Chris Brown's past in this comment. He was 16, okay, bro. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Let's, let's give him, let, let's hear him out, right? Let's. Let's hey, I, hey, I know how you feel. I'm listening to this nigga and responding. Yeah, let's see thing. what he said. He says the difference between Chris Brown and Drake is that Drake didn't fumble his career by trying to portray himself as a thug. Where Chris, Bra where's Chris Brown's Nike deal at? How many endorsements Chris Brown done left on the table? Even after Rihanna, he hasn't learned his lesson and is damaging his career. I agree with most of what you just said. Yeah, he is damaging his career. You know, him take him going on podcasts, stoned out of his mind, where you can't even, un, you don't know where he at. It looks like, yeah, sure, him being in the headlines, throwing. I, 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 I assure you that I'm aware of that. But we are also aware that the media is out to get Chris Brown. They're gonna go in, take and falsify things that he does, blow it to the most biggest proportion, and plaster it all over the news to make him look bad. Mm -hmm. We Facts. know that. Facts. Like Tiana Taylor showing up at his birthday party and Facts. Chris somehow was in the wrong. Facts. But let's move on. There you go. Let's you move on. Blaming somebody who was 16. Yeah, years Jody, old, you man. gotta hear the hope. Remember that thought. Hold on to that before you unleash. We gotta get we off of this. Stay, we gotta get off thought. of this stuff, man. Like in the media, as they was just saying, the media are looking for people like you to just stand on that shit. You blaming somebody that was 16 years old, bro, he was 16, 17. 17 years old. He was a kid. He's a grown ass man. He's like 34 years old. You can't keep no blaming excuse. him you know, you for the same you, shit, bro. You can't bro. do that to a girl, but you know. You I did know it to the mean. wrong girl. It was Rihanna. Yeah, especially. Like, it's crazy. Bro. Yeah, it's the wrong girl. Hey, we gotta let shit like that don't hit Jay Z's girls, then you'll learn your lesson. We gotta let shit like that go. All of us fucked up this shit when we was younger, man. Well, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Guys, uh, <laughs> Keon, what's your take on the Chris Brown diss track? I didn't get your opinion. I on. like the Chris Brown diss track. Yes, he, yes, 
what in terms of for me you know what my standard is i love i love this i'm the i'm i am a fan sitting front row and getting all the blood splashed on me i love this but in terms of the rest how the hip-hop feel you're you you are not more accurate when you said look at the state of hip-hop where we're praising the woman beater the singing nigga chris brown mm. that's how empty and hollow hip-hop has been which tells you which goes to the argument that my generation says and past generation says our quality of music is better because we can go back and listen to it this this generation doesn't have replayability we just played renegade before this stream mm -hmm. facts it's the, if renegade dropped this year it would be the number one song of the year facts and it and look at that 20 we played later. the watcher 2 in this stream it, that would also be the number one song of the year Facts. and it's very easy and it's not just about being number one in numbers the movement and the power of the song yes, yes. and you could the gravitate to it the you song. could feel you could feel it a lot it's of more, music you can't feel. There's more antics today. It's yeah. rather let me show let me show my ass on social media, then drop the song behind it. Facts. Your music doesn't hold you by yourself. You're ter you're not you don't trust your own talent to put the music stand for itself. Facts. That's what it is. Facts. Facts. You're right. I agree. Uh, let us know in the comment section. We're gonna do another video on the response, the Quavo response. Thank you guys so very much for being here. Uh, we'll be back.